take more time <laughs> and uh, you know to make to be a part of something like this to make something like this does require a lot of patience and and I'm I've always been the kind of actor who's been on the ball like I switch from one thing to the other uh, very quickly I know my job I go to set I do it well over here you have to mold yourself along with what is being created in front of you it's a process of complete surrender and if you are not able to do that, you cannot be a part of something like this. So I think I walked away as a much stronger actor after Hira Mandi, yes. And did it somewhere impact you personally? I would like to think characters and playing certain roles maybe adds to you as a person. Did no, I don't take my work home with me. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I prefer it that way, actually, yeah. because it can really consume you. Yeah. And I, as a person, um, some people do that, and it works for them. Uh, it helps them. It, it grows them. But for me, I prefer to keep it very, very, um, I like to compartmentalize. I think so. it's a great thing. We all can yeah. learn from you in we that case. We can learn. I was just curious yeah. yeah. if we should all learn. <laughs> It's a switch. Switch on, switch off. <laughs> Maybe you can tell me later how you're going to do this. Switch on and off. <laughs> You know, another question for the two of you. When you look at female filmmakers, actors, producers, you know, making a foray into the industry today, when there's been such a shift, right, and I think a very, very welcome change, if you had to kind of give them, say, three top advice or say even one, what would that be? From a female filmmaker? Yes, for either an actor or filmmaker or a producer, any of them, if you had to say something to them as they navigate through this journey. Yeah. I think... I all I would say is go for it. A lot of women have been conditioned and, you know, sort of been trained to doubt themselves for a very, very long time. And they just need that one push where somebody tells them, you know what, go for it. I'm behind you. I will back you. And uh, uh, you have nothing to worry about. I think that first step is very, very important. So for me as a girl also, I would just encourage every other woman who wants to do whatever it is in life that she wants to do to just go for it. Yeah. You know, I don't think I'm anyone to give anyone advice, but I would just say that um, don't hold back. You know, it's very, we find ourselves in many rooms where you're the only female voice, but I think it's an important voice. It's an important point of view. It's an important perspective. So I, I think it's, it's important that we don't hold back. And I would say the other thing, since we've touched upon it, both of us twice over, I think it's the, it's the sense of community. You know, women for women, I would say that's, that's more important than anything else. And um, the perception of, you know, when women work together or when women are together, I think those are um, populated by, uh, I think, dated pop culture, I would say. <laughs> so I think uh, fostering a sense of community uh, and really standing for each other is, is top of mind for me. And I really do hope that we do get to see more women in, in our workplaces when, you know, because it's just, a, like, I've done two projects now with, uh, were helm, which were helmed by uh, female directors. One was Khandani Shafa Khana and one is Dahar. And I kid you not, those have been one of the best experiences of my life, of my career. And it's just such a smoother set <laughs> when it's run by a woman. So I would really encourage more women to get into it. I think we're already seeing that shift. I think women are really coming forth yeah. more confident when it comes to this industry as opposed to what we saw even five years ago. I mean, that's something that I see around me. So, Nakshi, before we go, uh, it's just a question that popped into my head and I think I have to ask you before you leave. Um, do, you remember, do you remember the day you got the call uh, for being a part of Hira Mandi? Do you remember what you were doing? Do you remember what your reaction was? And what is it that you felt? Please leave us with Oh, this, this is a funny story. So, uh, Sanjay sir and me, like I said, we were trying to collaborate on uh, stuff even before Hira Mandi. Uh, he did produce a film of mine, which was called Rowdy Rathor, very, very long back. And uh, ever since then, and he's been very, very fond of me. Like, every time I meet him, he's always, like, so encouraging. He's always praising me. And sometimes it's like, I don't know where to look. Like, I'm like, oh my God, is this happening? But uh, he's been very, very fond of me. And so we tried and didn't work out. He went ahead, he did his stuff, I was doing my work. Uh, but we were always in touch over the period of years. So every time I went to his office, I would sit with him, we would chat over a cup of coffee, and I would leave and cut to, he started his project, I'm doing something else, he's doing something else. 
So I got a call for Hiramani, Sanjay sir wants to meet you. So I said, okay, great, I'm, I'll, I'll be there. I live very close to his office. I landed up, I sat with him. He sat down, he came into the room. I sat down and I was chilling there with, uh, I, Prena was there. And um, we were talking and then he came. I said, sir, you know, every time you call me to your office, you give me coffee and I leave. This time I'm not having coffee with you, I'm gonna have tea. <laughs> Change the narrative. <laughs> yeah. I've had tea with him. We've had the same sort of conversation we always used to have. I've gone home and I'm in Hira Mandi. So tea is the answer, guys. <laughs> Not coffee. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Sanakshi. And I want to say all the best for Hira Mandi. Thank it looks you. Thank you every so bit delicious, spectacular, and stunning. Thank you so much for talking to me. And thank you, Thank you, guys. You and thanks thank you, you everyone, everyone, for Hira Mandi. Thank you. Thank you for such a dynamic conversation. Your vibrant insights truly illuminated the conversations leading us inspired and enriched. Our heartfelt wishes go to Hira Mandi and we are extremely excited. Thank you once again for your presence, Sonakshi. It added an extra layer of significance to our program. Thank you, Tanya, for delivering such an exciting thing. Thank you, Swati, for such a smooth and engaging discussion on Hira Mandi.